Right, Hilly, right? You know that this is the strength of this USA team. If they get out and run, they get to throwing that ball above the rim and start making this a showtime game. It's going to be tough. Here you see Ilya again getting into the paint, the fake, the weasel there, and just extends around Jackson Jr. Knowing he's the eraser, you got to extend the way and give yourself a chance. Drops it in. So 9-2. to two. No deficit here for the USA in the early going. You see a zone defense of sorts as Ingram just turns and scores. That's what he can do. Yeah, he, he flashes right to that weak point of the zone and just elevates. Nobody's going to get up there where a shot when he shoots, it extends. Here comes Illy inside the paint. And another finish from the guard. So he's going right at Jalen Brunson. And one of the calling cards for this USA team will be their defense. You know, there's some phenomenal individual defensive players, but can they put it together as a team? As Ingram misses the three. Illy back the other way. Again, getting into the lane, but turns it over. Another chance to run. Here's Edwards. Rushed it off the glass. Spot up three. It's good. Hey, New Zealand's playing some really good basketball. You talk about Tarangi, you know, getting into the paint and Illy getting into the paint. But Delaney, transition play, great cross court pass. You know where your shooters are at, knocking it down. Get the right shots, get the easy shots. Give up good shots to get great shots. Coach Kerr doesn't seem phased at all. Obviously, this is the very, very early going in the first quarter. USA already in the hole, down 10. And if there's one thing Coach Kerr is going to be, he's going to be cool as a fan. Edwards looking to bring it up this time around. Ingram, little two-man action with Jaron Jackson. Here's Brunson. Oh, lowers the shoulder. And again, can't finish. So, Team USA just two of seven from the field so far. And also four turnovers. Rough start for the Americans. Here's Illy. Free throw shot is short. Mikael Bridges. Goes right at the rim, draws contact, and he'll head to the free throw line. And that's what the... Right, we're going to take a look here at this replay from Mikhail Bridges. Trying to stop this bleeding early on. Let's take a look at the Group C teams. We've already had some action earlier today. Jordan facing off against Greece. Greece with a 21-point win. So they're the top of the group. And USA will play Greece on Monday and then Jordan on Wednesday. And of course, the top two teams from the group move on to the next round. The top two teams you've got to work with. As you can see right here, you know, this early start for New Zealand. There's, there's no nights off. There's no days off when you're in international play. And we have Grant Hill, the managing director, taking over the reins from Jerry Colangelo of this Team USA. Kind of, it's an organization, it's a team, it's, you know, it's a federation, it's many things. A lot of pride to play your national team. I mean, you really only get to represent your country in sport and in war, right? So when you get to put on that jersey with a USA, New Zealand, there's got to be a lot of pride, a lot of passion. Inside. I go to, to one of those guys who played in the 2019 World Cup. Averaged 18 points per game in that World Cup in China. You saw Mikhail Bridges trying to be physical inside, but again, another thing that USA has started to get a little bit used to is the physicality of the FIBA game. But it might take a couple, couple more quarters. And you're playing against some guys that have some experience, right? Full to 29 years old, he has 62 national team appearances, so he's used to this play. He's played all over Italy, Germany, Spain. A true pro. We have but can't hit the three, but the offensive rebound almost secured by New Zealand, but the possession will go back over to the USA. Coach Kerr encouraging his guys. Of course, it's a four-time champion as a coach, Steve Kerr, five-time champion as a player. Also won a gold medal in the 1986 World Cup, so he has plenty of experience for this team. Here's Edwards, again, losing the ball. Rangi 
Looking to get the team set up. And Edwards. So let's take a little dig into Steve Kerr's resume. As I just kind of mentioned it earlier, those five NBA titles, the Bulls and Spurs, of course, the four coaching titles with the Warriors and that gold medal from the 86 World Cup, which he did mention he tore his ACL in the semifinal, but that gold medal still sits at his house as the three-pointer, no good. And Edwards, well, back the other way. If you ever wonder why Kerr is always so cool on the sidelines, he's a winner. All right, so he trusts his body of work, and I think for as Ant attacks there and gets himself to the free throw line, I think for these young guys on this team, they're fortunate. You see the attack left to right crossover, gets into the body of the defense, and just uses that left foot to cut off the angle so they can't get him back in front of him. But to my point earlier, for these young guys on this team, they're all pros, they all play at the NBA level, but to have his wealth of experience and his knowledge that you could pick his brain and just understanding how to navigate playing for a national team, how to navigate being a champion, that's special, right? And, and that type of coaching is invaluable. Yeah, there's only one champion as a player on this team. That's Bobby Portis, uh, who we might see later on. And also Paulo Banquero making his way onto the court alongside Tyrese Halliburton. And here comes Austin Reeves. So the one thing that USA has is plenty of depth. You know, they can put 12 guys out there who can make a difference in the game in many, many ways. Austin Reeves has been phenomenal in the showcase, yeah. coming off a 16-point performance against Germany. Just speaking to some of the coaches, you know, they're, they're pretty impressed with Austin Reeves. Even, as some of you even said that he's better than they thought he was. Oh, nice deflection from Halliburton, already making an impact. There's Bancaro, 6'10", 250, coming down. And that's, another foul. And that's a freight train. <laughs> that is a freight train. You see him coming down the lane, get out of his way. Yeah, he's not on this team just as like, uh, you know, hey, we need a young guy as an extra guy. He's here to play. He's here to play. 20 years old, very bright future. Obviously, the rookie of the year, averaging 20 points per game for the Orlando Magic this past season. First free throw from Bancaro. No good. And here's more on Paolo Bancaro. 20 points, seven rebounds, almost four assists per, per game. And the Orlando Magic, one of those teams to look out for this upcoming season. His mother, Rhonda, played professionally. WNBA third pick in 2000. Father and uncle played, it, played football at the University of Washington. So he's coming from an athletic family. If you look at him, you can tell he's built like a wall. You know, there was a moment in time where Italy thought they were going to get Van Curra on their national team. And... You know, he just believed in himself and felt like he had a chance to make this USA team down the line, and he's done exactly that. Bet on yourself. Bet on yourself and trust your ability, right? And, and he's here. Oh, Clint Cameron can't finish. Coach's son, Perro Cameron, of course, the head coach of New Zealand. Oh, what a pass from Howie Byrne. The extra pass just over the head of Austin Reeves. So another turnover for the USA. That's now six in the first six and a half minutes of the game and you can see Mikael Bridges there just telling Bancaro go up with it Halliburton makes a, a great pass he just puts a little bit too much on it kicking it out to Reeves he got size extend the round the defense and just finish it punish the defense all right we're back live here is Shea Illy going right at Josh Hart and we got an offensive foul I believe it was away from the ball they're going to call it on Lee Affa Possession will go back to the USA. And another substitution. So officially all five starters out of the game. Cam Johnson replaces Mikel Bridges. Of course, those two know each other very, very well. First with the Phoenix Suns, now with the Brooklyn Nets. Part of that Kevin Durant trade. Here's Tyrese Halliburton. And Carroll, who's playing center on this on the second team. Austin Reeves, a fan favorite in the Philippines, and Bancaro throws it down. That's big time. Big time action there. Reeves coming off the zoom action on that strong side. Gets into the paint and drops it down to Bancaro. Bancaro knows what to do with it. Josh Hart, scrappy. There's a little bit of everything as well. We got so many guys on this team that can just play a role. A nice move inside, but the defense from Bancaro does it on both ends, throws it up to Reeves. And the follow-up by Halliburton. Hustle plays, right? You get a transition. And Halliburton just knows that the ball's coming off. I'm sticking with it. Comes up with an offensive rebound, tips it in. 
So an 8 0 run here, courtesy of the kind of reserves as we have another offensive foul committed by New Zealand away from the ball. Well, this, this second group for USA has come out with a different energy, right? They've done it on the defensive end, but you could also see on the offensive side, they're just executing a little better. Here he sees the fight here by Tyrese Halliburton. And he's talking to the referee he's after the play. He's after doing it, it right? And that's the type of play that you want, the fight, the hustle, the grit. Josh Hart in the corner, nice little pump fake. Gets inside to the reverse, no good. Back Carroll looking to follow. And New Zealand comes away with the defensive rebound. This is Flynn Cameron. Goes inside to Wetzel. Cam Johnson. Oh, nice spin move. And the reaching foul committed by Johnson. It's going to be the third team foul for the USA team. Wetzel. And Wetzel does a great job of just using Cam Johnson's body weight against him. Cam starts leaning, and he just spins away, picks up the foul there. Say, not gonna get a stop. Chance to tie the game. Van Carroll, Arnie Kelly, nice pass inside. Wetzel, too far underneath the basket. Here comes Tyrese Halliburton. Stop all star from the Indiana Pacers. Cam Johnson, three pointer, low strong. Laney. Gets around Josh Hart, and Delaney's coming on the attack. It's a great job there, just playing through the contact. Gets into the paint, takes that first bump, and still has the conscious concentration and the strength to finish through it. Reeves fumbles the ball on the way to the basket. Van Caro! He's too strong. And one. He's too strong. He's going off. He's going to take the whole team with him. And Reeves fortunate here. You see, he just loses the ball, but. Couple deflections, goes through the legs of Wetzel. Van Carroll rips it away. And he had that ball on the vice grip, picks it up, and just goes up. All 250, 250 pounds. Van Carroll, that's a grown man. I mean, he's only been on the floor for three minutes, but he's made his presence felt. A chance here now for his sixth point to go with three rebounds already. Caught a violation on the free throw. So even if it would have, would have made it, it would have counted. Steve Kerr, just his first quest is us. It's going to be a battle. Orchestrating the offense, looking for the double high screens. Oh, it's high. Can't hit the three. Here they come on the run. The lob to Johnson. Oh, what a contest, but they call the foul. As Cam Johnson went down hard, but seems to be okay. That starts with Josh Hart's effort in the post, just denying the post, getting a steal. Now you get the, the run out, Austin Reeves. Look for Cam Johnson above the rim. Cam got up there. Got up and he fell down bit, hard. A little bit too much contact. But again, a great idea, great looking for your teammate, that unselfish play. And it started from the defensive end, right? Getting the stop, getting out and running. And that's what this second unit has done. Cam was up there, but New Zealand, two guys contesting the alley-oop. They're not worried about giving up highlights here to this American team. Well, you know that this is USA's DNA, right? Just the run game, running game, getting out and finishing. And then what happens there, guys get more motivated to play defense when you're out and running and, and passing the basketball. So great job by New Zealand getting back and not doing up anything easy, forcing Cam to go to the line and, and earn his two. Just saw Grant Hill there in the crowd. Of course, Grant Hill was, you know, in charge of selecting a lot of the players on this roster, personally calling the players and their agents. As you see the Creek team scouting their future opponents. 
So with tie game, 16 to 16, USA climbing back into this one. After a rough start. Again, he's everywhere. Austin Reeves. Shot clock and game clock very close. No hesitation from Halliburton. Resets. And they want to go for one shot. Reeves knocks down the three. <laughs> and he's ready. He's ready. Let's play some ball. Oh, New Zealand comes right back at the buzzer. You can do, I can do better. And you say getting going in this later part of the second half, in the second, first quarter here. Brunson, nice little short corner jumper. Austin Reeves getting to the paint. You're watching the people. Teed it up, got his feet set, and knocks it down. Nice pass. Ooh. Reeves to Bobby Portis. Reeves is having fun. Reeves came to hoops. He didn't came to, he didn't come to do anything else but play some basketball. Yeah, any one of these guys could start on this team, on any team really. But you can see why the sentiments around Reeves is, you know, a lot of teams and coaches didn't realize how good he really was. Right? He does a number of things on the court to shoot it, can pass it, and just looks real fluid out there. Listen, if LeBron says that you're, you know, you're the man, and you're him, that's probably going to be accurate. Yeah, he stamps you, it's real. <laughs> so that's going to be the third personal foul on point guard Shea Illy. That could prove to be a little bit of trouble for New Zealand as Anthony Edwards heads to the free throw line. Edwards so far, two points. He has to score a field goal, but has knocked down a couple free throws. Yeah, this will be good for Ant to get to the line and just get two easy ones again, right? Three turnovers early, and you can just see he's really not in rhythm yet. And you think about the, the five exhibition games that he's had. He was playing out of this world. Arguably the best player on the team. And Coach Kerstamp said he's going to be the guy. So you know coming into this tournament that teams are going to have a bullseye on him. The scout report is going to be surrounded by him, focus on him rather. He's got to adjust to that, right? This is a completely different play. They're going to be far more physical with him. Yeah, of course, USA was down double digits to Germany. Anthony Edwards took over that game, finishing with 34, as here it defends the Laney hook shot. Nice extra pass. Reeves Ooh. takes the bump, and he'll go to the free throw line. So the USA doing a great job of attacking the basket. New Zealand has yet to get to the charity strike. No free throws for them, but this will be the 12th and 13th free throws for Team USA. So you see Reeves, high flyer up and under. Think about how fast the ball got up the court, right? 17 seconds still on the shot clock. When you make that play, Bobby Portis gets a rebound, and then there's two passes up the court. Reeves on that right corner, right sideline there, just working the baseline. we underestimate how athletic he is as well. You know he can shoot it, you know he can pass it, you know how fierce he is as a competitor. But he's also a, a pretty good athlete. You see the love in the stands for Austin Reeves. Of course, the pride of Newark, Arkansas, population 1,100. He's made his way all the way here to Manila. Bobby Portis, very vocal defensively. Contest that shot. Cameron Johnson, the rebound. Here comes Halliburton. Spot up, nice little pump fake. Bobby Portis takes his time. Three pointer, no good. And the leak out is intercepted by Portis. It's Anthony Edwards, pulls up for three himself. And he's short. I believe the ball went out of bounds there on the baseline. That's big time. That's big time effort by by Porter there in the quarter, right? Gets the shot, missed the shot, but he's the first one back. 
to come up with the steal. Here's Isaiah Yaffa. Look for Tirangi. He can hit that. He does hit that. Another three pointer. That's three now in the night. For Ruben Tarangi, the captain of this Tall Blacks team, as Halliburton finds USA shooter Cam Johnson. And the U.S. cold so far from three, just one of six. Tarangi sizing up Halliburton a little bit. He's inside, all the way to the cup for two. He's this game's leading score, the first one at double digits with 11. And it seems to have been a inadvertent whistle of some kind. Last yeah. nice play there. Just great action. Liafa with the goal screen. So we've got a timeout on the gets floor. Downhill. Easy basket. It's a beautiful night in the main venue, right? This is the main side. This is where the finals will be played. We've got other games happening in Okinawa. Of course, Luka Doncic is in action against Venezuela, we got Serbia against China. Later on tonight, Spain against the Ivory Coast, but right here, it's USA, New Zealand, and New Zealand with a one point lead, almost halfway through the second quarter. So, probably surprising quite a few people here. Here's Edwards, Halliburton, takes the three, knocks it down, big time shot from Tyrese Halliburton. That's what you need, right? couple guys have knocked down some shots and that becomes contagious. We're talking about the start for New Zealand and you just look at how USA is playing right now. They just haven't made shots. Right? They've got some good ones. Just haven't knocked them down. Another steal from Reeves. Look up to Edwards. What a move to get to the basket. A little lefty lay-in. <laughs> I believe they call that a Euro step. A Euro. <laughs> All right, we've got another timeout on the floor, so we'll be back here. Harold leading the way there. Block on Delaney here. You see the verticality, just jumping straight up, taking the contact. I need that. I need that. Let's get out. Let's run. Yeah, USA known for their athleticism, which means that typically you can cause some issues for the other team's offense. And guys like Mikhail Bridges, rated guard full court. Jaron Jackson also back on the floor. We got the, all the five starters back on the court for Team USA. You see the 10 fast break points, just three for New Zealand. But they need more chances to run. Oh, step back three. Woo! Yeah, but there, just raising the space with that, that side step. Oh, wow. Turnover on the inbounds as the tall blacks pull a little pressure on a full court man to man press. It pays off. You can see right now, New Zealand, they don't. They're not intimidated by the USA right now. Maybe the Hawkeye intimidated the USA a little bit. <laughs> that is now seven turnovers for the USA. And a little confusion coming out of the out of bounds. And fortunately, we have to miss the three, but we have a foul going for the rebound. See, right now, you want to see somebody from USA just let the guys and just huddle up. Maybe see getting into the body of the defense. Fell there. Just really get the inside position. You just got to get somebody to get the group together and, and just say, listen, we need to play. We got to play tougher. We can't look to the refs for, for calls. We got to be the aggressor. So two fouls now on Bridges. He's the first player with two fouls. It's Terry Reggie. And a chance to stay hot here is... Another chance for USA to run. Brunson, so crafty in the post. Kick out to Edwards for three. Short. Just can't quite find his groove. A little drop. Still a good shot there, just short. Didn't really get his legs under him. But a great look, and you have to take that. Shoot or shoot. Got to have a short memory. Cameron gets inside. Challenges Jackson. Can't finish, but Fotu put back. Nice little block by Bridges. Here comes Brunson. Finds Edwards. All right, loses the ball again. It's probably the third or fourth time we've seen him kind of fumble the ball. And good transition defense from Jackson. 
Forcing the missed layup. Right, let's take a look at the Team USA schedule, of course, in action tonight against New Zealand. And then nice and early Monday, 8.30 a.m. against Greece. And even earlier on Wednesday, 4.30 a.m. Eastern. All these games will be on ESPN, too. Make sure you tune in. USA enjoying a slim one-point lead here. As we approach the halfway mark of the second quarter, Brunson inside to Jaron Jackson Jr. Nice finish over the left shoulder. Yeah, do your work early and good things happen. Jackson Jr. just got a deep position there. When he caught the basketball, all he had to do was turn over that left shoulder, and that's easy money. Delaney looking to attack. Low pump fake. Can't finish Jackson. Another rebound. Here comes Bridges. Low Euro step. Nice move. We like that Euro step on that left side there. We seen Ant with it earlier. Mikael Bridges here. Two dribbles off that right foot. Comes right back across on the left. Nice finish. And Bridges matching up with Wetzel. Trying to hold his ground. A foul. These will be the first free throws for New Zealand. They called that foul on Bridges, so that's going to be three. And that's going to bring fan favorite Austin Reeves back into the game. As you see again, that finish from Mikel Bridges in the last possession. Now, USA is going to be a little quicker. So Wetzel here, you look at how he played, played Albert Berlin in Germany this, this past season and shot more than 60% from the floor. So you know that. He's not a guy that you can let touch the basketball with deep possession, deep, uh, deep post positioning. Got to force him out, got to ride him out early. Just as much as we've seen Jackson Jr. do his work early, get an easy basket on the offensive end, you got to do your work early on Wilson, push him out of the paint, not allow him to get anything easy down low. We're going to count the free throw. For, for all you college basketball fans, you might recognize Wetzel from either St. Mary's Rattlers or his year the Vanderbilt Commodores or his year the San Diego State Aztecs. My man played for three college basketball teams. He's a collegiate journeyman. <laughs> and that was before. Oh, nice. Oh, a nice shot. Anthony Edwards. They knew what was going to drop. You knew something was going to drop. Comes off the stagger. Gets his feet right, creates his space off the spin, half a spin. All right, we've got the halftime show coming up in a few minutes. Coming up on that show, we'll take a look back at the Team USA Youth Clinic run by Eric Spolstra earlier this week. We'll also revisit the top plays from the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup. And of course, we'll check out all the first half highlights and stats. There's Delaney now at the free throw line. Knocks it down. So Delaney now on six points. He's been very aggressive, looking for a shot. One of those guys who did feature at the last World Cup. And he had he had a pretty good exhibition run himself. Led the team in scoring 13 and 8, 13.8 points. There's Brunson. Good footwork. And got a foul underneath as Jackson and Delaney were just battling for position. Delaney can't quite believe it. You mentioned he had a great game against Italy. 13 points, 6 rebounds, and 6 assists. As you take a look at those two scrapping inside. So 14 seconds on the shot clock. Still trying to get the handle of the ball. Three-pointer no good. Delaney the rebound. That's the thing with those FIBA balls, especially when they're brand new. When it gets wet, it's a little bit slick. As you know, NBA plays with Spalding, but here they play with Molten as Lee Affa hits another three-pointer for New Zealand. Lee Affa there again coming off that screen to his right hand, and Jaren Jackson late stepping up. And he's just going to knock it down. Nice move from Reeves behind the back. Ooh, knocks down another three. <laughs> AR-15 does it again. Reeves behind the back said, listen, I'm going to show you how to do this thing. 
Austin Reeves might be Team USA's best player right now. He's plus 11 in point differential. And here able to draw an offensive foul. I mean, he's, he's hard not to like, right? The, the toughness that he plays with, and he just, he just competes. Here you see him fighting over the screen. A lot of guys would have just died on the screen or cut it short and gone over. Well, he's, he's fighting over. So that last foul is going to go against Delaney. That's his third. So Delaney and Shea Illy both three fouls. That's a little bit of trouble for the second half. New Zealand is, is runs a two-man game with Jaron Jackson. Gets the step. That's it. And a great opening up that, that empty side there. Ant Edwards cutting through. Going over to the weak side and Brunson in that pick and roll going left. Jackson just rolling to the basket. All you got to do is catch there. That's your sole responsibility. You got one job. Catch the basketball, foul or a bucket. Gets himself to the line for two. So obviously the FIBA game is a 40-minute game, but also five fouls and you foul out, right, as opposed to six in the NBA. So this foul trouble is really, really to be pose a huge problem for Coach Perro Cameron. Wetzel picks up his second. And Jackson knocks down both free throws. And Wetzel looking for Tarangi. Gets inside the lane. Jaron Jackson will force you to Think twice about going up against him, but a turnover. Jalen Brunson just throws it up a little too far ahead for Reeves. Jackson Jr. there coming up with that stop. That's, that's the reigning defensive player of the year, right? So you get into that paint, you got to think twice. Yeah, his timing is just very instinctual. Exactly, yeah. Michigan State product. The seven point lead, the largest for the USA in this first half. As Jackson again forcing the tough shot. If he doesn't block your shot, he's going to change it. And that's just, just as good. Oh, a little hold inside. Ooh. No basket. <laughs> Off the vert. That's going to be three fouls as well on Wetzel. So three fouls for Wetzel, Illy, and Delaney apiece. Yeah, Wetzel, you're going to have to sit down for a bit, big bro. <laughs> so arguably the three most important players in this first half all forced to see the last couple of minutes of the first half on the bench. So Jackson back to the free throw. Two for two. Nine point lead, a little bit of breathing room now for Team USA. The defense from Brunson. It's on the floor. Oh, skip pass. Oh, charge. He was there outside the lane. Brunson. As Jackson took a hard spill. Hopefully, he's okay. Just a defensive mindset there. Brunson coming over to take a charge. Yeah, Jackson coming over as well to block the shot. Both of them in the paint. Brunson giving up his body. Jackson saying, listen, I'm, I'm going to clean this up for you. Left wrist of Jackson kind of trying to stop his fall. Still two minutes to go here in the second quarter. USA nine-point lead. Chance to be double-digit lead here. Oh, good move, but good defense as well. Foto just anticipated the spin move coming. In the right spot. And that's going to send Jackson to the bench. You see there, Foto kind of stood, stood his ground up. Stood his ground, great timing, anticipation. He knew he had to help on the right side. Forcing Jackson Jr. to turn back. Jackson picks up his second foul. Oh, 
There's Edwards. Let's turn the corner. Gets inside. Takes a little bump. No cons. No foul. Terangi spot up three in transition. Can't knock that one. A shot. Here comes Anthony Edwards. Ingram back to Edwards. Lefty finish and one opportunity. Great teamwork there. Just great textbook basketball. Great school basketball. Give and go. And guts airborne with that left hand. Defense is under him. Pick up the and one to get yourself to the free throw line for a chance at three. But just, again, the brand of basketball.